The NXR2 is Shoei's latest full-face sports helmet, also known as the RF 1400 in the States. It is the direct successor to the original NXR, which was released back in 2013 and has proven to be a great success. The new NXR2 brings many improvements and updates, including the new ECE2206 safety rating. In this video I will talk about the specifications and my personal experience with the NXR2 on the road. Let's go! The best use for this helmet according to Shoei's own website is on a sports bike. I actually believe it to be a bit of an all-rounder, meaning that you can comfortably wear it on almost any type of bike. Still. I cannot deny the fact that it is starting to look more and more like a stripped down version of Shoei's racing helmet, the X-Spirit series. That is not at all a bad thing by the way, it means that you're getting a more versatile version of one of the best racing helmets available, but then for less money. I mean, even Marquez is promoting the helmet, although they might have paid him a few quid for that. The NXR2 is made from the same advanced integrated matrix as almost every other Shoei helmet, which basically translates to six layers of fiberglass in combination with organic fibres. The NXR2's shell is rock solid but with low weight, around 1400 grams in the smallest shell size. That's only a little bit heavier than the original NXR, and I suspect it will have something to do with the new ECE2206 certification. Speaking of which, the new ECE2206 brings quite a few new important safety requirements such as the addition of a rotational force test and testing with accessories such as an internal sun visor or communication system. The NXR2 is actually one of the first helmets in the world to meet the new ECE requirement. This new requirement raises the bar for helmet manufacturers, keeping our heads safer, jolly good. I took this new lid out for a couple of test rides, just like I did a couple of years ago with the original NXR. But before I get into that, please remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying the content. It helps us out much more than you can imagine and it gives you something to watch, so don't dilly dally, do it now! One thing I noticed straight away while riding was the relatively low noise level. A clear improvement over the original NXR in my opinion. And the best bit is that any whistling that I experienced with the previous helmet is now gone, giving me a more peaceful ride. The helmet is by no means the quietest helmet in the world, but it is very stable. My regular go-to helmet is still the Neotech 2, which is fantastic for low noise, but I wish it would have a little bit more of the aerodynamics of the new NXR2, because it's very stable at high speed and it is such a comfortable helmet to wear on the motorway. It will also definitely do well on the track. I already mentioned the helmet resembles the X-Spirit series more and more, and this is noticeable in the way the helmet behaves at high speed. The reason the noise level is so low in this helmet is mainly down to two things. One of those two things is that the vents have cleverly been debossed into the shape of the helmet, allowing the wind to flow straight past or straight into the holes, depending on the position of the sliders. The other clever new feature is the addition of these hard wedges at the side of the helmet. These new parts ensure the helmet fits snugly and that the cheek pads receive pressure in the right places, keeping out more and more of that nasty wind noise. Please understand that this doesn't mean you can go riding without earplugs. There is not a single helmet currently on the market that won't damage your ears at higher speeds and sometimes even at low speeds. I myself am an avid music lover and musician in my free time, so I know how important it is to protect my ears, and I advise everybody to do the same. Back to the vents. The airflow is great, I can't think of anything I would improve about this. The usability and the amount of fresh air that comes in, or stays out, is just grand. The rear vent is now always open, making it a permanent outlet in the vacuum area. Something that I needed to get used to was the central locking point on the visor, something that is, or was, typically on the left side with showy helmets. It's not a downside, it's just something I'm so used to having on the left, and if you've owned a showy previously, then you might have to go cold turkey with this new NXR2 visor. It's quite possibly something to do with the new ECE certification, and it does actually have the benefit of equally distributing the pressure when lifting the shield, making it easier to do so. 
The helmet also features adjustable base plates so you can slightly alter the position of the visor. The new visor itself features a Pinlock Max Vision anti-fog lens, making it possible to ride around with a fog-free visor, as you would expect from a helmet in this price category. There is a photochromic visor available for this helmet at €199, Euros, which I actually tested on the original NXR and still use occasionally today. It works great and it's definitely worth considering if you're on the bike every day or every other day. The rubbers around the visor have been updated with slight openings to prevent drips when raising the visor. It's all well and good having a waterproof lid, but if you stop to get some petrol, then it's a real pain if all the collected drops of water jump right in your face. With this new system, that will be a thing of the past. Simple, but clever. The Double D chin strap is comfortable and also the safest retention system around. I'm a big fan of the emergency quick release cheek pads as well, which allow paramedics to easily remove the helmet in the event of an accident. And one other thing that I always like to mention is the Shoei personal fitting system, which allows any Shoei helmet to be custom fitted to your head. We offer this service in all of our shops for €30 Euros if you buy or have already bought the helmet from us. The NXR2 is not necessarily a cheap helmet, but it is a premium one. These lids are almost fully handmade in Japan and you can just feel the comfort and quality when handling and wearing them. The bottom line is that this sports helmet is great for any road or track rider and it's worth the money if you're frequently out on your bike. Thank you so much for tuning in with us again. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do me a favour by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing to our YouTube channel so that we can continue to make this type of content for you. You can get the NXR2 for the best price at Fortimoto.com or you can head down to one of our shops in the Netherlands. Thank you for watching, see you next time, cheerio! Thank you.